about these pictures, okay? It's some sort of time date stamping. Just write your congressman, because this is... It's supposed to be a recent picture. I see the Hindenburg explosion in the background. Come on. And no Snapchat filters. Or is it little hearts? What, what does she try to distract me from with all of this fireworks going on in the back? What does she have, some kind of weird mole or a, a goiter, a, a mustache? What's happening here? You... No more of this. Look, there's only, look, it's a dating site. There's only one picture we need to see. It should be required for everyone. And that is you, naked, on a scale, holding a bank statement. That's it. <laughs> People are dishonest. <laughs> and I know it goes both ways because my female friends tell me that the men online lie about their height. Yes. Which is hilarious because the whole point is to meet that woman. How do you show up eight inches shorter than you said you were? What? What's the plan? You just keep moving around the whole night so she, she can't get a read on how tall you are? Is that... That's insane. And I say this as a short guy. I'm not trying to fool anyone, mislead you, create optical illusions. I don't put up pictures of me surrounded by chihuahuas wearing a top hat and an umbrella. No. I'm honest and I get punished because I tell women, look, I'm 50 and five foot six. They think, eh, he's 73, he's four feet tall. I'm not interested. I, I can't. But it is, uh, it's tricky trying to find someone, especially, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting older and, and strange things are happening to me. My, my body is betraying me. And that's what happens. You don't realize that when you're younger, if you have an injury, there was an incident. Something happened to cause this. When you're 20, you're playing football. Ah, I twisted my knee. Gotta stop playing football. And in your 40s, it's the injury comes back. Ah, the old football injury's in town again. Then you turn 50 and you think, I was watching someone play football. <laughs> now there's a bone sticking out of my thigh. I'm not sure. <laughs> and you can't get help either. The doctors are useless. The doctors used to give me prescriptions and routines for things. Now I go in and I tell the doctor what's wrong and he repeats it back to me. And that's the end of the session. <laughs> Trust me, if you're over 50, you know you come and you say, Doc, I, I think I hurt my elbow. He says, oh yeah, you got a hurt elbow now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the second opinion, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I get injured in ways I can't even explain. I, I was running to catch a train and I wasn't in a real hurry, so I was doing that weird, you know that weird run where one leg is running but the other leg's just kind of hanging back a little bit? <laughs> like, I'm not in that much of a hurry. Come on, you're a team. Work together, legs. <laughs> Another leg was like, take the next train. Take the next train. <laughs> so I get, I step on the platform and as soon as I lift my, my leg up, ah, ah, this horrible shooting, terrible pain in my calf. And I thought, this feels serious. I better try and ignore it. <laughs> A couple days later, I had to go to the emergency room. And the doctor checks me out and he goes, well, you've ruptured your plantaris tendon. I said, oh, do I need surgery? Nah, you don't use it. I said, well, uh, excuse me, but you have no idea what I do with my plantaris tendon. Uh, what does it do? He said, oh, no, 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 you, you don't use it. It, it. It's vestigial. It's leftover from when we used to walk on all fours. In fact, a lot of people don't even have it anymore. I, I thought, how old am I getting? Uh, uh, I'm rupturing tendons humans have evolved away from having. 